This is the Fitzy and Whipper with Kate Ritchie podcast. Just having a bit of a laugh at the party that took place yesterday, event cinemas. Oh, what a day of joy. Oh, it was so much fun. They was, Ted was so excited. He had 24 mates for his ninth birthday. 24? Yeah, wow. 24 mates. I know, that's what I thought. And I, when the kids got dropped off, because you know they're their age now where the parents don't have to hang around, they're just dropping the kids off. Yeah. I was like, all the parents are going, geez, you're brave. Geez, you're brave. Like one after that. And I thought, what's the big deal here? Before the movie had started, there was just rumbles. It's going on everywhere. Headlocks, chokeholds. All boys? Yeah, all boys. Mm. It's it's like it's the first day of a music festival, isn't it? Yeah, like it everyone is. gets so excited. It's you fair. are... Mm. You don't even want to sit down and watch the movie. It's you just want to it, run it, amok with your mates. It's first night fever. That's what it is, Fitz. You've flown into Vegas and you're ready to go. Um, mm. And then you turn beer up. Beer pong? And, yeah, beer no. pong was happening. No, they had a great candy bar set up. So here was great. the issue. They had sort of Coke on one side, Fanta on the other, and then all these lollies. So you could go and grab a cup, fill it full of lollies, grab yourself oh, a drink, you and go and sit in your seat with popcorn. You would have been in heaven. It's, oh, my God. Uh, it's the actually, kids didn't get a lolly. It's, it's kind of mean to the children. That oh, was awesome. That you feed them all these things and then expect them to be well behaved. Followed by a slider and, and a chock top. Yeah. And did they like basic instinct? No, we didn't go with that. That was my choice. <laughs> but the tape had been broken at that Sharon Stone part unfortunately. They tried to stick it back together. But So we went with Next Goal Wins, which is a Taika Waititi oh, film. Oh, I love that movie. Oh, gosh, yeah. Yeah. Don't, don't Google that if you hmm? can. What's that? Next Goal Wins. <laughs> Next Goal Wins. So... <laughs> It was a soccer-themed party. And instead of doing party yeah. bags and lollies, we just handed out little footies at the end and things like that. Anyway, gotcha. it was going well. The kids loved the movie, which was great. There was a bit of a rumble halfway through, which was disappointing. One kid, oh, what do you mean, oh, a fight? Yeah. Someone what spilled happened? popcorn and then one kid you... got up and tipped a Coke over the other one, <gasps> threw it in his face, a large oh, Coke. In was, his face? Yeah, drenched the poor kid. I was there dabbing his T-shirt down, trying to make put a smile back on the poor kid's face. What were you dabbing oh, the T-shirt? With. Oh, just a towel that I'd got from uh, Reese, one of the guys there, and Cara, who was helping out. Oh. Emergency towel, please, down the front. It was did one you stage. Have, did you a, have to put your foot down? A little bit. Sit oh. down. Oh. Did you really? A little bit. Oh, just, if I was, was a parent, that, I would not be happy with that. Well, Lisa was that to- loud? Was it that loud? Yeah. Like, don't talk yourself up now. It if you're going to talk about how it's you reprimanded other children, true, I want to know the level To the of- point where Lisa said, can you not do that? because you're actually embarrassing Ted. So it's Ted's party and he's got to go to school with these kids. So it's a tough one yeah, it because it, it, this happens in the, in the playground quite a bit as well. Mm. When you see another kid go over and, and maybe have a go at your child, yeah. where where do you draw the line? And for me, it's headlocks. Mm. I've, <laughs> I've learned very quickly, no more choke holds, no yeah. more arm holds. Just headlocks. Uh, no, but it is. It's 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 other it's other children. Yeah, but d- if you see something really wrong, no, I, just I suppose wasn't you've fair. got to go over. It yeah. wasn't fair. Yeah, I know. But the thing is, you might embarrass Ted in the moment. Yeah. But as a parent, like down the track, and I know they're not thinking about this, they will remember that Dad's got my back. Yeah, yeah. Do you know? And I, I hope it, I hope they realise too that I'm. You're right, Kate. I'm the parent. I'm there to parent. Yeah. So I've got mm. 24 of these kids, and are now my responsibility. So I've got to make sure everyone's happy at the party, and that's coming off the back of me calling a kid over at soccer at 4.30 the previous day to say, watch your language around the kids. You might know those bad words, but my kids don't need to hear it, so pull your head in, son. Oh, he's going a bit hard here. I don't think it hurts. No, neither do I. You need a bit of... And look me in the eyes when you shake my hand. Oh, Do you say no. that to other people's yeah. children? Yeah. No. Oh, yeah. I don't time. know if you need to. <laughs> oh, anyway. I think you do that to your own kids. Well, if they're not doing it already, then they're not being taught that. So let me parent from here on in. Oh, wow. I so, mean, thank God for you, hey? But you're right, Kate. But in turn, I don't get everything right. Now, I had one big job on the day. I was in charge of the ice cream cake. I said, honey, don't you worry about a thing. I'll organise the ice cream cake. What? What? what can I ask which one? Viennetta or no, did you go no. to Fredo? Fredo's we always a... T- Tommy or okay, Kate, you might know. Badella, is it? You know, the... the um, oh, yeah, in Wallara. Yeah, they have like, they do like, ice cream cakes. and they're... Is it ice cream, though? Because I oh, know I, I do bang on about this, but most ice cream cakes no, no, are no. ice confection. Kate, there is nothing dairy about it. They them. own the dairy farm and they have an outlet where they make the ice cream at the shops and the milk comes from their farm to the the shop to make what? the ice cream Yeah, but cake. not everyone has a $1,000 to spend it on was, a kid's It was $65. Wow. Anyway. For an ice cream cake. 
Yeah. Yeah, that's all right. Made out all the fancy stuff he on top. He had to top. feed all the... He does, did it feed everybody? Bloody big cake. Here was the problem. I said to Lisa, I'll go and pick it up and I'll go and put it in the back fridge. Now, I keep her away from the fridge and the freezer out the back because <laughs> the one fridge is full of beer. The other fridge, which is the freezer, it's full of bait for fishing. Oh. And I thought, if we're only going to put it in full there for of overnight... bait. How often do you fish? Quite a lot. God. So I said, if we're only going to be... The cake's going to be in there for maybe 16 hours, 20 hours. How bad can it be? With bait? And would anybody notice? And it's it frozen. It would stink. Would it? Does it stink? Isn't it frozen? Yeah. It's, it's, it's odourless. We, we were getting in the car... Head started to turn his head a little bit towards the cake, so I hit record to get some feedback. It's more just. It smells like fish. No, it would be part of the. Maybe a bit of the box, where the box was sitting, possibly, but it's certainly once you take it out of the box. What we'll do. It smells like Yeah, it smells terrible. It smells like fish. Do you like the look of it too? Yeah, I like the look of it, just it smells terrible. Let me smell. Come on, we're going to go, guys. Can Come everyone on. start getting in the car, please? Yes, of course. Um, Francesca, have you still got the candles? Yes, you've still got candles. Why does it smell like fish? Well, it's just because it was in the, had it in the fridge freezer where the bait goes. Mike? Seriously? People like fish, people like ice cream. It's an Oreo ice cream cake that smells like fish. It's not funny. Bad start. I got a not funny before the party had started. Oh, well, that was you the bit I was concentrating. You can hear the intensity in Lisa's voice. Yeah, lowered Could voice. You? Oh, we got the candles you still, would, fr- Francesca? Okay. You would have felt so barren in that car. Oh, mate, I didn't know what to do. I just wanted to get to the cinema and I and hope that, that, hope that the fish had stayed on the box and not into the old rainbow ice cream. Anyway, happy birthday, son. I think we did Aww. a good job. A couple of rumbles and a smish f- fish smelling cake. <laughs> I'll do all the parties from oh, here on in, guys. you're a great dad. Great, you know. You're a great dad to everyone, it great seems. Great dad to everybody. <laughs> Fits in Whipper with Kate Ritchie is a Nova podcast. For more great shows like this, download the Nova Player via the App Store or Google Play. The Nova Player.